क्वेश्चन नंबर वन कमोफ्लो भूमि कंटिन्यूअर हेलो टूस मास्टर्स ऑल ऑफ यू गेस्ट्स एंड टूस मास्टर बिग बोता द मोमेंट यू स्टेप ऑन द स्टेज टुडे आई थॉट वी आर गोइंग टू हियर अ स्पीच ऑन दैट फेमस बुक स्टे हंगरी स्टे फुलिश बट देन यू कॉट मी नैपिंग विद यू मेंशन कॉफी With that cup of coffee, coffee, you took us to the top of Everest and to the moon and back. Let me now talk about a few aspects of your speech that really stood out today. For starters, from the moment you stepped onto the stage, you had a beautiful audience connect. You immediately asked questions to the audience, and to not show your confidence, you asked a follow-up question by giving a hint. That's something that really showed that you are a very powerful speaker. The next thing, throughout the speech, you had excellent usage of humor, multiple times. First, when you mentioned that the company was set up on the first of April, and then you mentioned it's not a joke. Then you talked about your first date, about grabbing a lot of things, and ultimately it ended up with that menu card. <laughs> <laughs> and then you talked about that incident about America, which came up with no milk in it, as expected. Then I love the content. Coffee can be interpreted in various ways, but you have three different aspects to coffee. First of all, you appeal to our hearts when you talked about your personal story with coffee. You appeal to our minds when you <coughs> gave the more logical explanation of how coffee is built and manufactured in the different parts of the world. And you, then you appeal to our hearts and minds when you actually talked about how Tenzing and Hillary. As well as Armstrong went to the moon with that cup of coffee. Let me now touch upon a few of my observations, which would have given this speech an altogether different dimension. For starters, you had a movement around the stage, like you were moving like this, while your story had different, very interesting parts. First of all, there was a part about your personal life, a part about the Tenzing and the Hillary story. And then there was a the part about coffee itself. So you could have well used the different parts of your stage to narrate each one of these. The second one was the voice modulation, but more in sync with the thing that it was not yet not going to the subject that you were speaking of in certain areas. For example, when you talked about the monk who had been gone, you were very excited about the monk staying up with a cup of coffee, probably not the right thing to do. Then when you went on that description of what The coffee is all about, and where it is manufactured, it could have thrown in some interesting trivia. Like more people drank coffee in the last one hour than the number of people who had been infected with coronavirus. Would have appealed to us really great. <laughs> and the and the last one, when you started with Neil Armstrong and the thing about Hillary, you kept a very long gap before you came back to that again. In summary, a wonderful speech which had all the elements: humor, appeal, and audience connect. Work on the things that I mentioned, and you are sure to conquer a bigger platform and a wider audience. On the show.